Hello everyone, my name is Dr. John Adam and welcome to Positive Health, where we believe that client education leads to improved pet health. In this video, I'm going to go over heartworm disease, why it is becoming a problem throughout the United States, how this parasite is transmitted, signs of heartworm disease, and treatment and the risk involved with it, and why prevention is the best option. So as you can see in this map of the United States from the American Heartworm Society, showing cases of heartworm is not only a problem within the southern states, but is spread throughout the country. New areas uh, are affected by heartworm are popping up every year. This is due to the increased travel of our pets, wildlife, and mosquitoes, and also an increase in the amount of heartworm in our wildlife, such as wolves, coyotes, and foxes, to name a few. Here in Southern California, the new species of Aedes mosquitoes has increased the amount of heartworm in the area, and recently, in January, the Orange County Vector Control had a press release saying they have isolated heartworm in mosquitoes here in Southern California. Heartworm disease is transmitted when a mosquito feeds on an infected host that is carrying baby heartworms in their blood, called microfilaria, and then feeds on a recipient host transferring that microfilaria. The microfilaria take about six months in the host to develop into sexually mature heartworm that reside in the heart, lungs, and associated vessels. The signs of heartworm disease can vary depending on the stage of the disease. Early on, there can be no signs at all, but later on can include mild persistent cough, reluctance to exercise, fatigue after moderate exercise, decreased appetite, and weight loss. As heartworm disease progresses, pets may develop heart failure and the appearance of a swollen belly due to excess fluid in the abdomen. Dogs with large numbers of heartworm can develop a sudden blockage of blood flow within their heart leading to a life-threatening form of cardiovascular collapse, which is called caval syndrome and is marked by a sudden onset of labor breathing, pale gums, dark bloody or coffee colored urine. At this stage, without prompt surgical removal of the heartworm blockage, few dogs survive. In cats, signs of heartworm disease can be very subtle or very dramatic. Symptoms may include coughing, asthma-like attacks, periodic vomiting and lack of appetite, or weight loss. Occasionally, an infected cat may have difficulty walking, experience fainting, seizures, or suffer from fluid accumulation in the abdomen. Unfortunately, the first sign in some cases is sudden collapse of the cat or sudden death. Diagnosing heart disease is done by a simple blood test done at the clinic or sometimes is sent to the laboratory. If the test is positive, further testing is done to make sure it is not a false positive and to assess the severity of the disease. This may include other blood tests and radiographs. Treatment of heartworm disease, unfortunately, can be very costly and harmful to your pet. Treatment in dogs includes exercise restriction, stabilization, especially in more severe cases, and most of the time includes an injection of an arsenic product called malarsamine. When the heartworm adults die from the treatment, life-threatening complications can occur, such as a piece of the dead worm can go into vessels of major organs, causing damage and sometimes death. Even after treatment, Heartworm disease can cause lasting damage to the heart, your lungs, and the vessels. Fortunately, in cats, there is no approved heartworm treatment, and the goal is to stabilize them and manage their disease. As you can see, we do not want our pets to contract heartworm disease, and prevention is the key. It is recommended, even in low incidence areas, to keep your pets on year round heart preventive. This includes oral medication given monthly or an injection that can last six to 12 months. Please consult your veterinarian which heartworm prevention is right for your pet. Heartworm testing is strongly recommended at six months after starting preventative care, and then year round after that to make sure that the preventative given is doing its job since nothing is 100%. Heartworm is a serious disease that we never want to see in our pets, and prevention is ideal in keeping our pets away from this deadly parasite. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, please hit the like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions, comments, or other topics you would like me to cover, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much and have a good day.